We got a brand new Sunvine card, and this card actually uh, is the centerpiece of today's Marco Watch. So Sunvine Sewing. Hi, special summon one Sun Seed monster from your deck, and if you do take a thousand life points, sure. If you do not control a Sun Avalon Link monster, you can only summon the Seed, which that's fine by me with this effect. And then for the rest of this turn after this card resolves, we get locked into plants, which is fine. And then if a plant link monster we control be destroyed by battle or uh, by an opponent's card effect, manages the card from your graveyard instead. Thank you, Konami, for making Sun Avalon ever so more consistent. I'm actually super excited for this. Now let's dig into Mark Watch, shall we? Make sure you guys smash it up and grab out subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. So with the advent of that new Sun Avalon card, I wanted to pull up and kind of showcase the prices right now on Sun Avalon. Because everybody, every time something good comes out card-wise, there's always the question of, how much is this? Oh my god, like how much money do I have to spend? Sun Avalon core is not going to cost you any sorts of real money. Maybe 10, 12 bucks. Like look at this, Sun Avalon Dryas. These are dollars plus shipping, which is... Actually, a little bit high end here, but there's 140 of them on the market. There's 150 copies of the Dry Gnome. The Link, four, 50 cents. All right, the Link, two here, the Dry Eds, literally nothing. Bloom is 25 cents on up to 40 cents. Malias here is nothing. There's 900 copies available here. And then you get down here to like Daphne. This is, this is nothing. Pennies on the dollar. For that particular build. Sunvine Thrasher. This is also going to run you like a dollar. Alright. Sunvine Trine. 70 cents. Maiden here. 20 to 30. Gardna. Same thing here. Like the value that is in this set. Is not bad whatsoever. So if you were looking at wanting to pick up a Sun Avalon core. With the release of this new card. You are not in a bad position to do so. Because the value in these cards is astronomically penny stonks of penny stonks like i said maybe 15 bucks tops but that's a story for another day so does the card make the deck better absolutely it does like when you give a starter on that level um it's definitely going to be worth checking out all right Borload savage evidently there's been movements in savage i didn't even notice we had the old mat down here 120 bucks so, we have 2020 10s at $19 still, and the Savage Strike versions at 20s. This is pretty cruise control-y, I feel like. Um, no real strange movements across the board here, other than semi-low qualities. Alright, next up here is IP. We've peeped in on the Starlight. We, we know that this card has been $1,000 for most of its life. Yeah, literally. One just sold for a grand on 619. But as you can see here, we are pretty cruise control -y on this $1,000 across the board. Nice Italian one here for a grand. All right, well, there's that. What else we got going on here? The Ultra versions, I see this has a market price at 20. Looks like it's kind of hovering around that mark. 2021. Okay, so yeah, these do have value. And then the tin versions down here are also at 21. These are also in semi-low quantities. 36 and 42, actually. The tin version actually being the cheaper version here. Or, yeah, the lower listing. Hmm. All right. Ring of Destruction Ultimate Rare. But why? Like, I guess it's always for that, uh, that nice vintage feel. All right. A mod play first had sold for $39. I guess. Uh, Light Play First Edition sold for 55 Uh Near Mints are 39 for Unlim. That's actually insane to me. And we push on up here. Freaking $60 is lowest for Light Play First Ed on these. Uh, and then we hit the 72 the $70 mark. Okay, so doesn't really surprise me all that much, I guess. That's still a lot for an old ulti, but it is Duelist Pack Kaiba. So, Pot of Greed still being the most expensive ulti from this set. Like, this is a mod play sold for one, a light play for 180. Yikes, man. All just for that first edition price tag. 150, 200. Yikes. Two, <laughs> sure. Moving on along. Time Wizard of Tomorrow. 
these are down to about three dollars at the moment surprisingly um it's kind of caught me off guard literally like three dollars four dollars after shipping uh anything else from dragon's legend the set just kind of came and went wow the cyber slash harpy ladies these are 16 dollars a piece now um i don't like that that's uh that's scary actually they had a market price at 19 all the number of dragons we've talked about in the past yikes wow tomb kingdom is a whole nine dollars i'm sorry those haven't pushed up a little bit more I can't get over the fact that, that Cyber Slash Harpy Lady is that much money. That's ridiculous. Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon at five, six bucks still. Okay. This set is uh still pretty linear for what we expect. Man, that's so much money. Next up, <clears throat> the Solemn Brigade. These are still pushing three hundred plus. Um, and the sad part is these have been selling at this higher elevated price. I see one came through at two sixty, but then you're looking at three hundred, three twenty were the last points of these. You still only have the six listings available for these, which is truthfully mind-boggling that these are maintaining. Solemn Judgment back here, same thing for the Altis. Um, so much money. 166, 170, 185 are the last ones sold, but you got a light play here at 158, another at 160. I don't know how long these will hold or if this is like a permanent retrace at this point in time. But once again, you see that price go up and, you know, we don't know how long this will hold. All right. Chaos Creator, this is brought to my attention. Evidently, these have been bought all over the place. And yeah, it definitely looks that way. 110 145 and $59. And these are all fairly recent in the last couple of days here. Uh, which tells me that with this one for, you know, 59 selling, that, yeah, these are pushing up at this point in time, both for the Unlim and the regular versions. Look at this, man, 65 on up to 80? Like, hardly any first editions on the market? Like, you're looking at 150. Well, that explains why the 145 sold, but there is hype building around this card right now, and it is sending up some warning signs here. So this is going to be something you might want to keep an eye on here. This might eventually hit the $100 mark. That wouldn't surprise me whatsoever to eventually see this card cap out, but we are heading up into an interesting point for this one. Uh, virtual world stuff. Hey, if you want to build virtual world right now, this isn't looking too bad. Like, this is pretty good. 10, 11 bucks for Lulu's. Sentience here, five to six bucks. Quinglong's fives for supers. Nyan Nyan's dollars. Um, you want a budget tier one deck. This isn't bad. This actually looks really affordable and really appetizing for the first time in a very long time, actually. Uh, Tri Brigade stuff, uh, Frock Dolls. Hey, if you are somebody that's uh, been wanting to pick up Tri Brigade for a little while, these have pushed down. These are under the $20 mark for the, at least a few listings here. Um, take my advice. If you want Tri Brigade, this deck is looking pretty appetizing right now. I mean, these were $25, $26 bucks a couple weeks back. But man, oh man, if you, if you want to take the chance here, this and Virtual World both push it down. This isn't too bad, guys. Opportunities here. Secret Metaverse from Speed Duel Box Set. You guys know these are like six bucks still? Um, there are kind of low quantities on these. This is going to be something you want to keep an eye on. But these have been selling too. Uh, Ancient Gear Golem. We're back at 12 listings for this, surprisingly. Damn, a damage one actually sold for 150 Yikes. Light play for 800 1500 from top end. Okay. Nimble Momonga Super Rares. These are actually pretty cheap. Alright. Huh. 60, 75, 90 for Near Mint. That's actually not bad for the old guy. Cyber Dragon Infinity. Ooh. Look at these. These old first editors. Look at these. Are they actually selling at like five bucks, by the way. Light plays for fours. Yeah, five bucks. Uh, Machina Citadel. Do you guys know these are 70 cents? Mm-hmm. Uh, Azure Eyes Dragons, two bucks. Now, look at these oversized cards. You know, we always joked about these things back in the day, but uh, look at these, 25 bucks, 16 bucks, 10, 20 bucks, six bucks. This is amazing. A sealed one here for 129, 
by the way, also pot of quiz, and that's just three dollars. <laughs> so, guys, what do you think about today's market? Please leave a comment down below to me what you guys think. Smash that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. I will see your beautiful faces back here later on today with some more cool, awesome content. Peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing trouble shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Van Cole 40 for all of your Cartway Vanguard content brought to you by M40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.